Hello everyone. In the last session, we will discuss about the armature reaction there. So in that, we are discussing the armature reaction and main field flux. And we discussed about what is cross magnetizing and demagnetizing. And we are already discussed about the GNA and MNA. And what are the effects we are discussed there. And now, we, were, we, we have to discuss about some more points those are the those are the those are the continuation part of the things so generally we have the machines are two types those are generator and the motor these are the general machines types here we have two things are happen what is the leading and the trailing two things are happen generally in case of things what is the meaning of leading leading is behaves are different for generator and different for motor and trailing also behaves different different action it is different for generator action it is different for the motor action here also what happen in the leading case leading case generally generator become demagnetization demagnetization means the flux will be decreases okay but in case of motor leading action is done at leading pole trip it is magnetization that means the resultant flux will be improves we can take the resultant flux what is the meaning of resultant flux resultant flux is the combination of made flux main feed flux as well as armature flux whenever main feed flux and armature flux is added then that process is called the magnetization whenever the main feed flux and the armature flux is main feed flux minus armature flux that is called as the flux will be decreases that is called as the demagnetization we can name it as the demagnetization so in case of the trailing pole trip trailing pole trip generate happens magnetization that means the resultant flux will be improves in case of the demagnetization the resultant flux will be decreases flux will be decreases okay so these are the things for different different for the generator because so this diagram and this analysis look at this analysis is behaves different for the generator and the different for the motor that is the important thing okay and here we should discuss about waveforms waveforms of the different parameters here the main field flux distribution in the air gap is flat topped wave or the trapezoidal wave so generally the flat topped wave means the name itself it is a this wave we will look like a flat top flat top means so for example this take it as the main field flux that's why i am represent with the phi m main flux so here what is the meaning of flat top or means generally this dotted line is the sinusoidal waveform the meaning of the flat top is like this it will become straight and top and it follows the thing A negative part also became the flat so this is the flat top wave so this is the waveform of the main field flux so main field flux distribution is like this or the another name is the trapezoidal wave we can name it as another thing is the trapezoidal wave next in dc machine armature mmf is the triangular wave it is max along the quadrature axis and zero along the direct axis so how the armature flux so just look at here this is the armature flux generally armature flux is look like this so it is yeah, yeah. so the triangular wave is look like this so this is the armature flux you can take triangular and the triangular and the triangular and the triangular and the triangular so this is the wave shape so if you take 
this is the triangular wave positive waveform and zero and zero and the zero so this is the omega t so the triangular wave generally at the direct axis the triangular wave has the maximum value sorry zero value at the quadrature axis so look at here it is the maximum along the quadrature axis maximum means this part is the so i will change the color here to understand this the armature flux will be this is at the quadrature axis and at the two points at this point this is across the direct axis here also this is the direct axis and here also negative that is the quadrature axis he, here the zero again it is the direct axis so for the different different axis it will become like this what is the direct axis and quadrature axis look at here so we have for example if you consider it is the two pole north pole and south pole so this axis at this point it will generate this axis is called the direct axis direct axis at this point there is no generation and it 90 degrees with that axis that's why we can call it as the quadrature axis okay right and armature flux distribution this is the generally this is the armature mmf not flux so we can name it as the armature mmf so can i like like this i will change the color that is the armature mmf we can name it as what is this meaning armature mmf generally it's like a force yeah here armature flux distribution is a saddled shape mmf and both are different thing here he, this is the flux this is the saddle shape saddle shape means it is a different form the form is like this so the saddle shape waveform is look like this this is the x-axis in this x-axis yeah we can take it as the armature flux uh, the flux will be like this here it will reach one point and it will show again and it will continue this part it will be continued it will be continued like this like this so that means the structure is like this and again it will decreases and again the structure is like this so this is called the saddle shape that shape is named as the saddle shape the so finally the air gap flux distribution is the peak waveform so we have the air gap flux is there what is air gap flux first we can define the air gap flux it is the combination of two fluxes that is the main feed flux as well as the and the armature flux so by combining these two fluxes we will get the air gap flux we can name it as the air gap flux ag so what is the peak waveform peak waveform is like this generally peak waveform the waveform is it is high and it will become low and initially it is the initially it is the top value and it will decreases then it will top value and then it will decreases again it top value it will decreases so we can name it as a it is air gap flux this is the air gap flux and the omega t this is the omega t so these are the three different different waveforms these different waveforms have different waveforms have generally so different different shapes so finally these are the very very important things here the main feed flux is flat tapped wave look like this and the armature mmf is the it is a triangular wave so don't confuse with the armature mmf and the 
armature flux the relation between the armature mmf and armature flux is like this so generally so flux is we can write like this the flux value is mmf for reluctance you can name it as the mmf for reluctance okay here the armature flux distribution is the saddle shaped wave this is the new wave so it's look like this all right and the final air gap flux is the PK wave. PK wave is look like this. Okay. And this is the leading pole trip and trailing pole trip methods. Okay. So these are the different different waveforms that should useful to analyze the uh, armature reaction. Okay. I hope all of you understand the session. Thank you.